One of my heroes in the faith is John Bunyan. And when I think about the Puritans, oftentimes I think of Bunyan as an example, someone who exemplified such a high view of Scripture, someone who loved the Bible. Uh, it was said of Bunyan, in fact, it was Spurgeon that said it, that if you would prick him any place, he would bleed bibline, meaning that flowing out of him from his pen to you know the pressures and the persecutions of life, that if you pressed him, that he would bleed the Bible. And this is something that's a great encouragement to me. When I think about reading that book for the first time, I was just mesmerized by how much Scripture was, was in just this small book that we call the Pilgrim's Progress, right? And so I'm reading it, and then I get to this famous scene where you have Christian and hopeful, and, and you have them on this journey, and then again you find Christian in this, this dungeon, and here they are, and they're, they're, they're trying to escape. Their, their lives are in danger. And he finds this, this little key in his chest pocket. And just the imagery of that scene is such an encouragement to me, thinking about if we would hide God's word in our heart, that you know we would not sin against God. But yet, at the same time, the word of God is a, is a lamp unto our feet, and it's a light unto our path. And so I just love the fact that Bunyan exemplifies someone who not only studies the Word of God in, in terms of preaching uh, and, had, and had a good grasp of the totality of Scripture, but as he, as he writes, you see this warm devotional aspect of Bunyan. There's two sides there because you have John Owen, this great towering intellect who's asked, why would you, with such a, an intellect, go to hear a, a mere tinker preach? And he said, look, I would gladly trade all of my intellectual powers for the tinker's power to move men's souls. And when you think of that, you see a man who walked with God, who, uh, who spent time with God, who had an insatiable appetite for Scripture that just came out of his life. It flowed naturally from his life, both in his preaching and in his writing.